We all expect our students to be aware of plagiarism and to acknowledge sources and provide us with a reference list. But do you do the same for them? Today, many teachers take advantage of the affordances offered by technology to engage their students in online activities. Videos, interactive quizzes, blended learning, flipped classroom, blogs, wikis, global projects. The digital learning environment is an integral part of education. Us educators are now citizens, not just of our school, town or country, but global digital citizens. And our online behaviour should uphold and model standards for legal, ethical, safe, responsible and respectful uses of technology. But teachers can be confused and unsure. Hands up if you think they are all at least a bit wrong. So how can you become an ethical participant? There are fabulous images, music and videos that can be used and even remixed for educational purposes. But you need to know what is okay to use and in what circumstances. You need to know what to do to properly attribute what you use. You should know about the rules, licences and facilities that apply to your circumstances. They vary from state to state and country to country. And you have rights when you create media. How can you share your media and be properly acknowledged? It's your responsibility to know about plagiarism, copyright and creative commons and to understand how each applies to the things you share with students and to ensure that your students understand their responsibilities and rights too. Because if we aren't model digital citizens, how can we expect our students to be? This learning module will help you explore these issues and has plenty of opportunities to dip in and out of resources and find fabulous sources like the images you've been viewing and music you hear. We can't just talk the talk, we have to walk the walk as well.